Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Christmas decorate with me video for my living room for 2022. So we're going to start off with the decorating and then at the end, I'll give you guys a full tour of the completed Christmas living room. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Good morning, guys. Today is Monday, November 21st, and I'm gonna be decorating today. Um, so the first thing I did today was I got myself together, you know, got ready, and I picked up my pictures from Walgreens because uh, that's the easy way of like, you know, making your house festive is just changing out your pictures. So last year we took Christmas pictures, so we're not doing Christmas pictures this year, so I'm gonna use those to in our frames that we have already and switch out the pictures and walgreens has currently today they had 50 percent off of their prints so i got four prints in different sizes and they were only seven dollars with that coupon code so i'm gonna look at them and see if i like them oh they look cute so here are the prints we have so cute um, I'll show you guys like when I'm decorating, like how it looks in the frames, but I'm so glad we, um, took these pictures last year. So we can use these for like the next few years. So, um, I took pictures of my parents last year as well. So I think my mom is going to get some printed and put them in frames in her house. So very cute. Let's look at this one with Adrian and Coda. Look at this. Look at them. So cute. Okay, before we get started with the decorating, I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this plain long sleeve v-neck shirt from Amazon and I got it in a 2X. And then I have on these gingerbread pajama bottoms from Walmart. They are in a size extra large. They're a little bit short, like they are above my ankles, but super cute. And then I have on these reindeer slippers in a size 11 that I got from Amazon. Love them, wanted to be festive and show you guys my outfit. It'll be linked in my description box. Okay, let's start off by decorating the Christmas tree. I was super excited to do this. So uh, the theme this year is classic cozy Christmas. So I have the traditional color scheme of Christmas and I wanted it to be very festive and cozy at the same time. So um, I have these beautiful like sweater Christmas ornaments that I got from Walmart that I put on the tree first because they were the biggest ornaments. And I've heard it's easier to go with the biggest ornaments first and then go to the smallest ones. So um, I made sure to put all variety of sizes on the Christmas tree. Um, so I started off with my, my bulb ornaments and then I went for the more like specialty ones like Santa Claus and gingerbread and some other fun um, ornaments. So if you're interested in any specific item, I just put up a Christmas decor uh, haul video. So it'll be linked there. So definitely watch that video. So I love how this tree turned out. Every year, well, for the last few years that I've been decorating, um, I usually do a star at the top of the tree as my topper. But this year I decided to use picks instead. And I feel like it looks really, really cute. And it was like less work. All I had to do was just kind of put them in a radial kind of orientation. Um, it kind of looks like a crown on top of the tree. It looks really, really cute. And I'm super happy with how it turned out. Okay, now it's time to move on to decorating the fireplace. So I'm gonna use one garland. I usually use two and, you know, tie them together and go from there. But I can just, I just realized you can just use one garland and then fill it in to make it look more full with picks. And I feel like that is a money saving hack right there. And it looks, you know, more custom that way. So start off with just one garland if you want to, and then, take some stems and picks um, that are, you know, for that time of year, whether it's fall or for Christmas, and then fill it in that way. So that's what I'm going to do. And when I am decorating my garland, anything that I do on the right side, I do it on the left side as well and keep it very symmetrical. It makes it very easy to decorate. Okay. And I'm going to take our stockings. I got these last year, these cream stockings, I believe they're from Target. 
and I'm going to hang them on the stocking holders that I got from Target last year and like three years ago. I love the cream still, even though I'm going with like, you know, the greens and the reds and stuff. Love the cream color. And I got these beautiful name tags from Etsy. I'll have that link down below. And I'm going to be tying just a simple satin ribbon um, on the stockings as well to add more of that red color. And I'm just doing a simple bow on there. Nothing extravagant, but I love how simple, understated the bow is. Like you don't have to do anything too crazy. I was super excited when I got that down pat. So um, yeah, if you don't want to do, you like the look of ribbon, but you don't want anything like too crazy, just tie a simple bow and it looks good. And yeah, I tied, I put the name tag on top of the ribbon and then tied it that way. And that looks good. And I added some twinkle lights that I got from Target. They're battery operated. I just hid the battery pack um, behind the garland. And I'm putting these two Christmas trees that I got from Target last year on the hearth. Uh, one of the Christmas tree like pots was broken, but I still used it. Yeah, the blanket I have is from Target. And I put it in this basket that I picked up from Tuesday morning during the fall season. So I did that. I bought that a couple months ago. And I'm going to put this lumbar pillow inside the basket. It is from Kirkland's. It looks super cute. I was going to have it on the couch, but I liked it more in the basket. And I'm just wrapping more twinkle lights around these uh, Christmas trees. And I'm not going to decorate them. The twinkle lights, is it's enough for me. Um, and I'm hiding the battery pack behind the little pots down there. And it just looks so beautiful. And then I have this uh, Christmas screensaver from YouTube above the fireplace on the TV. And I think it just looks so, so beautiful and cozy and festive. So now we're going to move on to decorating the floating shelves above our accent chairs. I went ahead and got started because it was like really complicated me trying to, you know, figure this whole thing out. But I used these like thinner garland that I picked up from Joanne this year. And it was giving me a hard time, but I still worked it out. So I used all of our Christmas pictures that I got printed in different frames. I used two vinyls that I showed you guys in my Christmas decor haul, Mariah Carey and Stevie Wonder's Christmas albums. I used these bells that I got from Amazon on the sides to accent the floating shelves. And these cute little um, white lit houses that I got from Target. And everything just worked out together. And I really like those reindeer, those gold reindeer. The set of three just looks so, so good. And I'm going to decorate this little table in between our two accent chairs. I took this Santa Claus, this arrangement, and a candle. And I like to decorate in threes. Um, and I just think that's an easy combo. A figurine, an arrangement, and a candle. Super easy. And it's always, it, it always works. So try that if you're kind of stuck. And I'm using these dark green velvet pillow covers that I got from Amazon to pop on our white or cream accent chairs that we got from Target last year. So that is how this wall turned out. And I think it looks really good. Now we're gonna decorate both couches. So I started off with the cream couch and I have this throw from Target, this red throw, and I eventually took it off because I just didn't like how it went together with everything. So I have these oversized tan pillows that I use for fall as well. So I wanted to keep it on this couch. Um, if this was cream, that red probably would have worked out, but I decided to take the red throw off the couch and just keep it with the tan oversized pillow and then the green oversized pillow covers. And I put this Mary lumbar pillow in the middle and I think that looks really cute. I'm gonna take these cream boucle pillows that I picked up from Amazon pillow covers and then I'm gonna layer it with the green velvet pillows also from Amazon and I just kept it simple on this couch. I could do like a more like a designed pillow on there with a pattern or something but I'm gonna keep it simple on this couch. Now we're going to move on to the console. The console turned out so, so good. Beautiful. So I um, had, I rolled up my arrangements, my arrangements from last year and just put it in a vase that I got from Target last year. And I took my bells that I got from Amazon, they're oversized, and I just grouped them together because I 
didn't have any hooks that were strong enough to hold them on the fireplace. Then I took this mini Christmas tree and a lit house and put it over by the lamp. And I tied some um, ribbon on the bells and I thought that was so, so cute. And I took the third bell away, the smallest one, and replaced it with a candle because we like to burn candles. And I took a picture of me in Coda that I use all the time and just left it over there too. And I took these candle holders from Target, two different heights, and I'm using these battery powered um, candlesticks. They look real, but they're battery powered, so it's safer. I'm gonna show you guys how everything looks at the end, so don't worry. Now I'm gonna move on to styling this coffee table, this end table we have here. I got this gold bowl last year from Target. I wanted to do something very easy, so I took my leftover ornaments and I put all of them in this bowl and then I wrapped some twinkle lights around it and hid the battery pack behind like the lip of the bowl and it was just super 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 easy you just you know arrange the ornaments in a way that you have like a even distribution of all the variety of colors that you have and boom a simple like centerpiece for your coffee table or your end table Okay, one of the last things I'm going to show you guys is the centerpiece for the coffee table. So I took this dough bowl that I got from Hobby Lobby for uh, during fall and I lined it with one of the garland that I picked up from Joanne because it's a nice thinner garland so it's more flexible. And then I put this picture that I got from Target in the middle and I rolled up some arrangements last year so it would be easy for me to use them this year and I just popped it in there and then... Um, just put like some newer stems that I picked up this year in there just to freshen it up. And I put one of my lit houses in there. I had to kind of maneuver it around so it would fit. And then I have this candlestick in there. Now, if you see candles close to a plant, you're probably going to freak out. But like I said, these are battery operated candlesticks so this is not they're basically like a toy they're not a toy but they're more so like a toy versus like actual candlesticks with flames and everything so this is a safer option to get that look so um you'll see it at the end but eventually i put a smaller house in there beside uh the candlesticks and i pop some red ornaments in there to bring in more of that red and i think it looks so so cute um, Dobos are just like a nice versatile piece to have in your collection um, to style different spaces in your house, especially with like centerpieces. All right, guys. So here's the full look of the completed Christmas living room for 2022. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I love it so, so much. Um, there are so many places in this living room that just are my favorite. The console is probably my absolute favorite. You guys tell me in the comments which one is yours, which area. Um, I really enjoyed decorating with the traditional colors this year and having that cozy vibe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and look for part two. I'll be decorating my hot cocoa bar. It looks amazing too. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.